Eight bows, all under $200. Which bow is best for you? The number one question I get is what bow should I buy? And thank you for all the support. By purchasing our archery products, this allows me to buy these bows having no affiliation with these companies so that I can give you honest reviews. Specs, speed, smoothness, snagability, and sacrifice is the scale we are testing these bows to. Each person is different and each bow is different, meaning I don't know exactly what bow you will need, but my goal is to give you enough information so that you can make an educated choice on the next bow to buy. So let's get right into it. The Sass Pioneer is a 68 inch bow. It's supposed to be 40 pounds at a 28 inch draw. We'll test that in a minute. It does have a leather wrapped handle, but it moves. It's not glued on or anything. As far as leather goes, they have the flesh side out, which is the more rough side, but I believe the thinking is that it gives you more, more traction and more grip when you hold it, rather than having the grain side out. And then we've got fiberglass and maple, and then two kinds of wood in the core that I'm not sure how to pronounce them, so there they are. There's an endless loop bowstring. They do not tell us what type of material they used, although it does feel a lot like D97. It doesn't feel like it stretches as much as B55 or Brownell 50, yet there's not enough strands for 652 or fast flight. So I believe that's what the string is, and it's the most common when you're receiving a bow. The handle's flat, so we can just draw it directly to 28 inches, and we're good to go. That's really fascinating. So it's at 40 pounds right now. Let me show you that. All right, check it. So we're at 40.79 pounds. And when I first got the bow, I drew it down on the tillering tree. And I believe it was 43 or 44 pounds. What this means is that by shooting it a few hundred times and leaving the string on it for a little bit, it's kind of worn into its shape a little bit more and the poundage has reduced and went down, which is interesting. So I wonder if that's how they planned it. They try to make it at 43 pounds, so it ends up at 40 pounds after it sets into place because I really highly doubt that they're shooting this bow once they make it. So they know a little bit of set's gonna occur and therefore the poundage will go down slightly. So if they intentionally did that, they're really, really smart. And so I was gonna dock them on the poundage of this bow originally, but not anymore. The poundage is dead on, so I give them a thumbs up on that. This bow is priced at $179.99 US, but on the specs scale, as far as everything that their specs say, it doesn't say very much at all. Oh, the last thing is we do have tip overlays here. So it's, it looks like it's the same as the core handle wood, and um, it's on top of the fiberglass, which I kind of do like a wooden overlay. I think it looks better than just the fiberglass overlay. Looks like it's well-made bow, and as far as the specs go, I do not think I can complain. So we're gonna give it a nine out of 10 on the specs because they are dead on. The snagability test. This means how quick can you pick up the bow? Can you snag it up and can you shoot it? And how good is it? So I tested all these bows we're reviewing in relation to each other on the exact same target. I took 50 shots, recorded each shot so that we could have a baseline. And the baseline is 406 points out of 500. That's the average. And this bow did 415, which is really important that when you shoot, you have you know an archery tab and an arm guard and a hip quiver and a really nice bowstring. So if you want Black Friday sale, shatterproofarchery.com. Black Friday through Cyber Monday, 10% off the entire website and we're discontinuing wallets and just going full archery products. So we do have some more wallets up there for sale. I'm going to discount those like 30% for you guys so that you can just pick those up. So if you want a wallet, check that out or go get some archery gear, archery accessories at shatterproofarchery.com. Other products back in stock on Black Friday and 10% off the entire website through Cyber Monday. And so even though this bow is above average on the scale, it is actually below the median. And the reason is, is because there's four bows above it and only three below it. I shot some bows that were really low in score and brought that average down. It is the fifth most effective bow out of the eight in the snagability test. So I'm going to give this one a score of five on the snagability test. It shot better than 
than it was comfortable to shoot. Let's get into that right now. Now, this bow is extra long, so it should be really comfortable to shoot. It should be really smooth to shoot. It should be just a breeze. <laughs> it's like it just vibrates in the hand for like a minute. This thing's terrible. This is, this is terrible. Listen, I'm not sure if the mic will pick it up, but once I shoot it, Lots of them will have a thud. Lots of bows will have like a thud and then the vibration will stop. This bow, it's like a thud and then it's just like and just vibrates forever. It's like plucking a, a guitar string and it just keeps vibrating. We'll give it, we'll give it a two. I was gonna give it a one, but there, you can, there can be worse, right? In a lot of the footage you see, I hope you can hear me, but the knocking point was too low and so you can see the aero flight's terrible. So I moved the knocking point up and the aero flight's much better now. So changing the aero placement does make it a little smoother to shoot. So I'm gonna bump this thing up to a three instead of a two. It's still not very comfortable, but I didn't want my air to affect how I rated this bow. Absolutely a non-comfortable bow whatsoever. Like this, this handle, the grip, moves really easily. It's not glued on or anything. The bow's extra long, but it's not comfortable to shoot at all. Highly disappointed in this bow. I'm gonna take another shot with this bow and I'm gonna let you know when I stop feeling the vibration. The microphone can only pick up so much, or only does, but I can feel it longer than the microphone shows. So let's take another shot here. And the string stopped vibrating. So I don't know how many seconds that was. I'll probably put a timer up, but like three to five seconds maybe. That's crazy how long you just feel it just like vibrating again like that guitar string. This SAS Pioneer completely failed. Now, if you watch the other review with the Maverick from the same company, it's really good. So they just, that's just, no, they didn't do good. I do a speed test by shooting through a chronograph with an arrow that's 10 grains per pound of draw weight. So for this 40 pound bow, we need a 400 grain arrow. I shot that through the chronograph five times and took the average. And what we scored was 171 feet per second. Not terrible, that's a decent, that's a decent bow, right? But in comparison to maybe other comparable bows, compar comparison to comparable, come on. Um, but in comparison to the Black Hunter bow that we reviewed yesterday, that got 191 feet per second. And do you know the poundage? The exact same, 40 pounds with a 400 grain arrow. So 20 feet per second slower than that one. Now that bow is pretty exceptional. But the other interesting thing about this is that that other bow is $80 cheaper right? So in comparison, you're like, wow, this doesn't do super good. But 171 feet per second is not necessarily something to frown upon. So on this speed test, I'm going to give this bow a 5 out of 10. And so the sacrifice scale is what money do you got to give for the value of this product? And it doesn't mean like the lower the price, the better the sacrifice score. No, it means like I could be the most expensive bow, but it's well worth it. So it gets a great score on the sacrifice scale. So this bow is like a monotone bow and then like dips right where the smoothness is of the bow. So I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10 on the sacrifice. So the top archery recurve did 29 out of 50 and the long bow that was made by Black Hunter did a 43 and today's bow scores a 26. Now I do want you to keep in mind that the score isn't in relation to what bow you should get because it could score lower on some aspects that you don't care about so much. For example, I don't care near as much about speed as I do how smooth the bow is. So it's important to keep in mind, look at the factors individually and that'll help you decide what bow to get. Furthermore, I looked at a bunch of reviews on this bow and they're fairly good. They're four and a half stars overall. And what I found really, really interesting about all the reviews is I probably spent more time than I needed to reading them, but all the one star reviews were about how rough it was to shoot, how much hand shock there was, how uncomfortable the grip is in the handle. That's exactly what I agree with. The grip is just no good in the hand and it's pretty much flat, makes it really hard to get a consistent place for your hand to sit. Plus with the leather moving, it's just not easy. And then I was like, okay, so the good reviews, what do the good reviews say? 
Most of the good reviews are talking about how pretty the bow looks or how good it looks. There is a few reviews that says it shoots really well. In my experience, that's not the case. So one of two things is happening here. That maybe there's people who don't have experience with different bows, and from what they've tried before, this is a good bow. That could be the case. Or secondly, maybe the manufacturer is inconsistent with making the bows, and that could very well be the case that their consistency isn't perfect. And so, I mean, you know, when, when I make bows, how little amount can throw a tiller off and if their veneers aren't perfectly consistent their tillering is going to be off and that's going to cause a lot more hand shock so even if the tiller was right on this bow i really don't like that handle so that's kind of my recap on the bow i'm not trying to condemn any bow or necessarily praise any bow i'm just giving what I find to be true about that bow. So thank you so much for watching this video today. We've got five more bow reviews coming out very soon. So stick around for those. Stay positive, be shatterproof. I'm for you guys, I'm for archery. It's awesome, it's fun. It's not about the bow, it's just about having a good time. So keep that in mind. All right, I'll see you on the next video.